Hey guys, a lot of performers and artists that I work with often start out, you know, feeling really lost about the spotlight effect because first of all, there are so many emotions that they don't know how to deal with them. And, you know, feeling everything so intensely and deeply is one part of the reason why they're so so good at what they do and why they excel as an artist or a performer because they they can really tap into the needs of of people and to their of their audience which can lead them to bring you to a higher atmosphere because they can really tune into that so it's it's one of the biggest talents of this day and age especially as a creative performer performer or artist but you know then what then you are stuck with feeling all those things and you don't know how to cope with them so this driving tuesday is all about how to cope with the spotlight effect so you can build a positive and healthy lifestyle instead of feeling lost or maybe burned out, because we've seen it with so many artists in the past 20, 30 years even, because they develop an extremely unhealthy and negative, destructive even lifestyle, since they want to numb out everything that they're feeling and all the overstimulation that is coming their way. Because that is what happens when you are constantly in the spotlight. And people will think a million things of you. There will be a million expectations. And you want to try to live up to that. And of course, you know, that's not possible. And that's why recently I was watching a, a documentary of um, a Dutch famous, really famous artist, André Hazes. And it was really interesting to see how they were telling, you know, his family and his friends and his close entourage, how... He didn't know what to do with all his emotions. And he was such an amazing performer. He was a singer and he was a true storyteller. And that's why, you know, besides the, the huge talent of his voice, you know, no one could even level up to, to where he was when giving a performance because he, was, he dove into the song and he was really sharing that story with his audience which you know that's what you want to ex experience when you are uh, watching a performer but this made him feel really anxious in his head and he couldn't find inner peace anymore and the consequence of that was that he was going to numb all these emotions, sensations, the overstimulation of touring all the time. He was numbing it out with alcohol and with women partly, but a lot of his health problems started with alcohol. And he was trying to hide with a huge sense of humor, which came natural to him because he was such an entertainer who, of course, also died because of his poor health, which is very sad for his family because he left behind young children when he, when he passed away years ago. Um, and that's not how you want to lead your life. You know, you want to be able to and be this amazing artist who's really good at what he does or she does and has the greatest fun and passion. And you want to lead this happy fulfilling life because when you watch this documentary it was quite long you know you could see that when his children were talking later on they said when we were on holiday with him it was like this ten thousand pound gorilla fell off his shoulders because he didn't have to think about everything and he didn't have to process all this input coming his way and he could just be at peace with his family of course, unfortunately, still drinking the hell out of it. But, you know, at least at those points, he found his peace. But that wasn't enough because that's not sustainable. Even if you go on a holiday for six times or, or a year or every month, 
that's not going to help you build a healthy, positive and happy lifestyle because your life quality is what you bring to the show every day. You know, that's what you have to feel and live with from the morning till the evening, Monday till Sunday. So that's why I think it's so important that when we talk about the spotlight effect, we also think about the bigger picture because this entails so much. And that's why I want to give you a little exercise or tip today so that you can bring this in your own party and that you can integrate this into your own life. And I know, you know, in this little video every week, I can't share everything that I do because I work with people for six months. That's just not possible to do that in a quick video every week. Even if I would make an hour out of it, that's just not comparable with doing the actual work. But I'm a person who really loves to activate people. And just knowing something, you know this, you know, what I'm telling you isn't new. But the difference is I'm going to give you something so that you can start integrating it. And that is what might bring little changes in your life. You know, just knowing things isn't doing anything for you. It's just making you feel worse because you're not doing anything about it. And you know that you should because it's important. So that's why, you know, I'm all about the practical stuff. We need to do things in order to make a change. Because if you keep doing the same thing, you will get the same result. Obvious, you know, that's simple logic. So what would it mean for you if you would take every evening before you go to bed just a little bit of time to journal and you know the biggest minds and and the biggest leaders of this world today they almost all of them they journal because what happens when you start writing is that certain processes in your brain start to function in a different manner than when you just overthink or think about things. So that's why I want you to write it down because it will make it easier to get out of your head and into the moment, into full awareness. And that's really helpful if you wanna work out anything. So let's just start with something really, really simple. Every evening before you go to bed, you can do this in your living room, at your desk, in the office, or even in bed, you know, and you have a little journal on the on your nightstand and just write down first of all what am I really happy about that happened today you know or the feeling that I experienced today what really made me happy just write a little thing about it just one amazing thing that happened to you as small or as big as it was this day and then two how do I want to feel tomorrow? And, you know, what should my day look like? As in, how will I feel during the day? And how will I show up? Who do I want to be? Just write a short passage about it. About how you state and claim, this is who I want to be. This is how I want to show up. This is how I'm going to lead my life. So that you can get more and more conscious about it. And that you give your brain the chance to really tap into it and filter those things out in your life. Because it all starts with giving it more attention and bringing it into our awareness before anything else can happen. So this is just a really small step. And then in the morning, before you get out of bed, just read it. You know, don't make... You can, but it doesn't have to be pages long. It can be just like a little paragraph and just read it and start your day. And when you can, think about it. Oh yeah, I'm going to show up like this. Oh yeah, I want to feel like this. Okay, you know, this shit is happening at this moment. I want to show up this way and I want to feel like that. How should I respond to this situation in order to feel like that still? And that will help you to really step into your own potential and greatness on all matters of your life. So I hope that you've enjoyed this and that you get to work now because that's what I'm here for, to help you get started. 
need extra support, just send me a message, quick word, and I'm here for you. Ciao!